Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's video is from EDC, a book by Mr. Ballstead. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 2.39, uh, for which a student from Indonesia has requested. So let's have a look. This is the question. Uh, the input we have a diode and a battery resistor capacitor and the important thing is that the input is a square wave of one kilohertz now these are the three things we have to find out calculate five tau compare five tau to half period of the applied signal and sketch v out so first of all we'll calculate five tau and if you recall, the time constant tau is for RC circuit is given by R multiplied by C. Now the question is which R we take? So let's first of all consider the positive half input and because when the positive half is here, this diode will become forward bias. So we'll replace it with a 0.7 volt battery and this battery is already given now because of this the capacitor will start charging and current will start flowing through this circuit and not through r or very very small amount will flow through r because this is the shortest path short circuit actually the resistance of uh, the diode is almost negligible so it will take the easy path and so now R in this case will not be this R, rather the resistance of the diode. And resistance of the diode is very minor, very small, and it can be neglected. It could be considered to be zero. And so tau will be zero second. And five tau obviously will be I multiply by zero, so zero millisecond. Okay, now we come to the uh, second half of the, and this is applied, the so negative at the top and positive bottom. This diode will become reverse bias. And when this diode becomes a reverse bias, it will behave like an open circuit. So it will behave like an open circuit. And now the current will flow through this resistor. So in this case now our R is 56K. So for tau, I'll call it tau discharging will be 56K multiplied by the capacitor and it is 5.6 millisecond. And so 5 tau discharging will be 5 multiplied by 5.6 is 28 millisecond. So this is the answer for the first part, part A. Now part B, we have to compare 5 tau to the half period of the applied signal. Now this is uh, 5 tau, we got 28 milli. Time period is 1 over F and frequency is given 1 kilohertz. So it will become 1 millisecond. And half of the time period will be 0 0.5 millisecond. So comparing the two, we can say that 5T is much, much greater than the half period time. Now, why we are doing this comparison? Uh, let me ex try to explain it uh, just for your knowledge. You see, this is the charging time and this is positive, the capacitor is charging. And time period is small, therefore capacitor will charge almost instantaneously time period is zero or we say we said uh, almost zero so it will immediately charge to uh, the voltage whatever voltage it is and then during the negative half cycle the capacitor will discharge and it will try to reach zero after discharging but since the uh, discharging time period is 28 milliseconds, it will take 
a very long time and it will be kind of a flat. Now, what is the impact of this? The impact is that the wave shape will not be distorted. We can assume, let's, let's read this first. So in the interval T1, T2, between this interval, will only last for 0 0.5 milliseconds. It will only last up to this point, 0 0.5 milliseconds. It is certainly, certainly a good approximation to assume that the capacitor will hold its voltage during the discharge period. That means the capacitor will not discharge or will discharge very minimal. That means the output will be a replica of uh, the shape. Output shape will not get distorted. It will be almost the same shape. And now we come to a uh, part C. We have to sketch the output voltage V naught. Here also we'll uh, consider two cases. First of all, diode is on. So this was the circuit. And now we'll write KVL to the right loop to find V naught. And from here, if you go, it will plus two, minus zero point seven, and plus V naught equal to zero. Therefore, V0 is minus 1.3. So this is when the uh, uh, input is 12 volt positive. So how do we plot this? We can just draw a line at minus 1.3. So this is the output for this duration. The plot for the positive half cycle. Now, uh, let's go to the negative half cycle. Or to find, first of all, let's find out the charge across the capacitor Vc. So for that, we have to take this loop. And if you take KVL, start from here, minus 12, so minus 12, plus this voltage here is Vc. So Vc plus 0 0.7 and minus 2. And this will give us Vc is equal to 13.3 volt. Now with this knowledge, now let's go to the negative half cycle. So the negative half cycle, we have learned that the diode will behave like an open circuit. So it is open circuit. The capacitor is now charged to 13.3 volt. And the polarity, the charging direction is like this. So the polarity will be positive and negative. And now if you write KVL to find this output, we start from here, positive 12 positive 13.3 and plus V out and therefore V out is minus 25.3 volt. So how do we plot this now? We'll just move ahead of this. So ahead of this we'll go to minus 25.3 for the time duration of 0 0.5 milli and then it will come back and this process will uh, continue. Okay, now there's a shortcut method I had explained in one of my videos on clamping. I'll give you the link. And the shortcut method is that you just find the capacitor voltage. So as we have seen the capacitor equation from here, the capacitor voltage is 13.3 volt. And then on the input signal, you simply move to 13.3 volt. So this is the input signal move to 13.3 volt, positive 13.3 volt. And this is your answer. The only thing we have to do is make this zero line, 13.3, zero. And then this will be your 1.3 down. And this will be 20, minus 25.3 as we had calculated here. So it's the same thing, same shape, same uh, result. So this you can use just to verify your answer. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.